How are you? Why do you think some people LDL rise so quickly on the carnival while others not? It's basically the APOE, pretty much. That's all it is. Um, there are a couple of other genes as well that seem to play a role as well. Uh, mine doesn't really, it's where it was. It's more or less in a very similar way. It doesn't really go up. It just doesn't. Um, now, obviously, if I fast for a very long time, or anybody fasts, their LDL will go up. It doesn't matter what your genetics are. Anybody that fasts, LDL will go up. Um, that's But anybody that fasts, that, that eats and their LDL goes up, they are actually what are classified as hyper-responders. They usually have an APOE of 4, whether it's 4, 4, 4, 3, or 4, 2. Now, I've actually done a video on that, um, but not on my channel, on Pim's channel. She invited me. I was going to do it on my channel, and uh, she asked me, oh, can you do You know, And I said, fine, I did, and I did it on her channel. So if you go to my playlist the one that I did with Pim. I've got a playlist on my channel of all the videos that I did with, collaborated with Pim Johnson. And one of them is the APOE one. And it explains really well why this happens. And once you've seen that and you understand about how these, um, you know, lipo, these um, lipoprotein type vehicles move around the body and how they actually, um, you know, the, the energy flux between the bloodstream, what's come in, and the actual liver and the receptor sites, you'll quickly understand why this happens to some people and not to others. So go and check that video and you'll get a really good education on APOE. And if you take a look at people like Dave Feldman, he's an APOE 4-3. So he is susceptible to this condition. That's why he gets. And just eating inappropriate foods to try and control it is ridiculous because it naturally happens this way. It's supposed to happen. It's indicated for his genetics. You know, somebody that's got a 2-2, two -two, they will struggle. They will have very low, even when they eat a lot you know, um, or any um, diet, their LDL will be very low. Mine's somewhere in the middle. It's always, you know, um, if I eat quite a bit of saturated fat um, in that regard, it usually can go down. I'd actually, um, the lowest I actually got it was 3.2. Uh, my previous one was 3.7. So that's milli, you know. So, yeah, in the millimole range where... Yeah, you'll have to convert it to the other one. But pretty much most um, most people, yeah, it uh, depends on their genetics. That's all it is. This whole bullshit, just because you can measure it, it's become a big thing. It's ridiculous. Um, even my doctor, when I my cardiologist, when I turned up, he said, your triglycerides, and even though they, I, I thought they were high, 1.7, but that's also not considered very high. And, you know, my ordeal was, my total cholesterol was in four points something. I can't remember exactly now. It's a long time ago. But, uh, yeah, it's a joke, the whole, the whole thing. They're ignoring the APOE. Yeah, Deborah's a 4.3, a like Dave, um, Dave Feldman. She'll be a hyper-responder. She, her LDL will go up. She can eat the same food as me. Her LDL will go up. Mine would just stay flat. And if, if somebody's a 2-2, two -two, their LDL will go down <laughs> because their color micron resonance is so high that basically they just cannot produce, recycle that and produce sufficient VLDL out of their system. So they have longer circulating um, color micron and color micron remnants. Due to genetics, that means it's an adaptation to a high sugar consumption at some point in the life of that person. So they don't actually cause insulin resistance in the liver. It's all about that, preventing that. The ancestral one was 4-4. You know, then as the interglacial period is when we changed our diet, go and check the video. You'll understand what I mean.